Hello, I'm going to show you today how to draw a simple wheel that we can laser cut um, for your cars. So I'll show you this wheel on the right first, which is the easier one, and then this wheel on the left second, which is a slightly harder one, and then you can choose what you want to do. So when we draw a wheel, um, we need to draw the outside, we need to draw a circle around here, a circle here, and then we need to cut all the parts out so that the laser cutter will follow the white bit and not cut across where the spokes join the outside of the wheel. So to do that in Rhino, we create a new document. And because we're only working in 2D, we don't need these four views. So you can either click this little box here and it will take you to the full screen, or you can double click where it says top and it will take you to a full screen of just one view. So the first thing to do is we need to draw a circle. So over here, circle, it asks for the center of the circle, so you just click once anywhere, and then it will either say radius or diameter, so you tell it how big you want your circle. So I'm gonna draw my circle 100 millimeters big, press enter, and then my circle is drawn. You can't see it because it's bigger than the screen, so I can zoom out a little bit by I'm using a trackpad on my laptop, so I'm just pinching on my trackpad, but scrolling on a mouse will do the same thing. Or you can type Z for zoom, and then you can either click extents, or you can press E for extents, and it will take you to the extents of your drawing. So now you need to draw another circle. Um, we need to draw the edge of the rim out here, and we need to draw a circle in here for the axle to go through. So if you're Rhino does not have this. If this is the first thing you're drawing on Rhino, you might not have these turned on. So if I want to draw a circle and I don't have center turned on, there is no way that I can get this circle to be exactly in the middle of this circle. So if I click center, then you can see that Rhino bounces and creates a little white line over here, which takes me directly to the center, and it will say center next to my mouse. So if I click, I know that my circle is exactly in the center. Then I decide how big I want the rim of the wheel to be. So just so it looks right, or you can write in a number. And then we need a hole for the axle. So you'll need to measure the wood in the workshop, but I do have wood that is eight millimeters or 10 millimeters round. So if you click there and then write in 10 millimeters, that will fit a piece of wood that we have in the workshop. So we now need to join this bit that holds the um, center of the wheel out to here so that it looks like this. So to do that, we're gonna draw some more circles. So I'm just going to guess this one. So I'm gonna put it about there. I might move it out a little bit. So I just click and drag to move it. And then I'm going to do four of these around this circle. So in order to get them all in exactly the same place, instead of like copying and pasting them and trying to get them so they're all even, Rhino has a command underneath the sky, which is called Polar Array. So it's under the little nine box thing. So you click that one. Then it asks you for which object you want to array. So you want to array that object. Press Enter when you're done and then it asks for the center of the array. So you want them to array around the circles. So the center is the center point of your wheel. Then it asks you for how many you want. So I want four of them. And then it asks you for how far around. So you want 360 degrees, which takes you all the way around, which is what it defaults. And then it gives you a little preview, and then you hit done. Okay, so We've basically got our wheel now. All we have to do is make some cuts in here. So if we have a look at this one, you can see that the wheel is cut off, the circle is cut off around here, and the circle is cut through here. So we're gonna use a command called split to do that. So split is here. Sorry, that's trim, that's split. Or you can just write split. And then the objects that you want to split, so you want to split these ones first. Press enter. And then the cutting objects, this is the cutting object. Press enter. So then delete, 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 
delete. Now we're pretty close, the only problem at the moment is the laser cutter is going to go along here and we're going to end up with one piece of wood over here and another piece of wood in the middle and they won't be joined together. So we need to get rid of this bit. So we're going to use the same command, split. And then we're going to, this is the object that we want to split this time. These are the cutting objects. Then going to delete, ooh, no, not that piece. I'm going to delete that piece. Can hold down shift. There you go, simple wheel. So then I'm going to create another video that tells you how to get this ready for the laser cutter, but that's how you would create your simple wheel. So if we wanted to do a slightly more advanced version of the wheel, we'll start again, we'll draw a circle that's 100 millimeters, and then we will draw another circle that is, oops, it's an ellipse, that is the rim. This. Then I'm going to use a curved line to create the other parts. So I'm going to get this tool over here, which is drawing a, a curve, and I want to draw it at the center of my circle up here. And then I'm going to kind of curve it somewhere over there. So I have one, one part of the spoke. So now I'm going to use a command called offset which basically gets this curve and puts another curve um, further away from it, the same distance all the way along the curve. So offset goes like this. So if you write offset, it will ask you for the distance. So like one millimeter is tiny, five millimeters is moderate. I'm gonna do seven millimeters. And then you click to tell it which side you want to go on. And I'm going to get these and I'm going to array them like I did last time. So polar array, select the objects to array, the center of the array. Uh, and I think I want to do more than four. I'll do six for now. I can always change it. 360 degrees and then I have this shape going around here. So if I wanted more spokes, I could change this to 8, and if I wanted less spokes, I could change it to 4. So I think I'm going to go for lots of spokes. That's maybe too many. Maybe 8 was all right. Okay, so now we have um, our wheel, except the laser cutter is going to come down here and make a big mess in here. So we want this one and this one to join down here. So the tool we're going to use for that is fillet which is over here. Nope, that's not fillet, which is this one. Fillet or F-I-L-E-T, fillet. So depending on what you've drawn before, you might have a different size radius. So fillet basically takes one curve and then another curve and it will join them. Except I don't want a massive corner like that. So I can change it to zero. And then I will, if I click this one and this one, it will cut them like that. If I wanted to put a little curve in there, maybe I'll change this to one and see what it looks like. So you can see it's kind of rounded that bottom a little bit. So enter or spacebar repeats the last command that you did. So you have to go round and do each one of them. So there we have the wheel. At the moment it's still sticking out past the end of this, so we need to split all of these, same as the last one. So we select them all, type in split. This is our cutting object. If I hold down command, which might be, I'm not sure what that would be on a PC, maybe control, but command on a Mac, and drag. It gives you all these deselects, delete those, and I need to split this. And these are my cutting objects this time. 
So I'm dragging a box from right to left, um, which selects everything inside the box. If you drag a box from left to right, you don't get anything. If you select the box right to left, you get a line. Then you've got to delete all of the bits that you don't need. So all of these. And then you need the wood, um, the hole for the wood in the middle. So 10 millimeters again. Okay, then you have your wheel ready to go. You can get creative if you want. You can put text on it. Um, we'll make it three millimeters high. We'll click that as curves. I can put that there. I can put it here. There is a way to curve it so it will go around. Um, if you want to do that, I can show you how to do that. Um, and there you have your wheel for laser cutting. Advanced one and simple one. Any questions, send me an email and I'll help you out.